Hey guys, Solar here, back with a Hero Factory review of the Hero Factory Breakout series from early 2012, late 2011. This is Black Phantom, the big set, because, um, well, I had to do this in a different location because my backdrop is not tall enough for this thing. It is massive. And, um,. Pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. But, um... Yeah, this thing is just huge. I can't tell you how big it is. It's just big. <laughs> um... Well, not as big as Witch Doctor, but still pretty freaking big. <laughs> compared to my backdrop and my mascot, so... He, he took a vacation, so... No mascot in the Hero Factory reviews, but we still got Black Phantom. So, first off, let's get his weapons out of the way. He comes with a mace. And on the bottom of the mace is a kind of a recon team blade thingy. That's what I like to call it. Recon team blade thingy. Yeah. It was actually double thumbs up. can see the other thumb now. And then a quick look at his saber strikers. Not the best name, but okay. <laughs> and then we have his Arachnix drone. Which is just a little spider. I'm giving you a quick 360 of that. <laughs> Got in the frame. Nice details back here. Nice scope of details. And note that I never worry about paint apps with these things because half of them don't even have the paint apps. <laughs> And this shoots, it's a new design, so it's stronger than the Thornax. And it takes quite a bit of pressure to shoot these, so... I don't shoot them a lot. Because I lose the stupid little things, so... And now, pieces, new pieces, we got the mace up here. Which is made out of two pieces. Which is also available in the Green Lantern set. And then the sword, I will take this off, because it's one piece. Yeah, we knocked him down. In the process of removing the sword, we knocked him down. Move him over a little. There we go. There you go. We have this. This is a pretty cool piece. I have yet to use it in any mocks. So. And he keeps falling down. I guess it is true. The bigger they are, the harder they fall. But we will straighten out his legs so he does not keep falling down. And his uh, saber striker screwed up. That's stupid. There you go. Stand up there, champ. Ah, there you go, there you go. Because his feet... <laughs> now he's falling forward. I can't get him to stand now. There you go. That was pretty pathetic. Sorry. There you go. Straighten this out. And then we also have these shoulder pauldrons, which I'll just pull the whole armor plate off. Which is just a half sphere piece. It's pretty useful. I've used it in a few mocks and pretty detailed. And then, before I put this on, here's a close-up of this piece. This tightens the joints, and when I say tighten, I mean really tighten. Look at that. That's, I'm, I'm moving this with a lot of force here. Normally, this would be moving faster. So, it just strengthens joints, and it does a pretty good job at it. And then, the next piece we're looking at is this chest piece. Which came in a few superhero sets. Checking the time. Which came in a few superhero sets, such as Batman, Green Lantern. Probably came in the Captain America one too. Quite a few though. Quite a few. And um, I don't think this. Yeah, I think this is in Core Hunter as well. The new set for this year, which I'm really excited for. So we'll snap that back on. And it's just an add-on piece, just like the pauldron. Then, another new piece, which I don't need to take off, because it's separate. Kinda. 
Well, first off, we got this green hose. If you could see that, it's a trans white with um, a little vein of green going through it. And then we got these clear transparent neon green armor plates, which is also included in Toxic Reaper, along with these hoses. And then we got the fire to one blades. Nothing new there. Just some recolors. And then we got these pieces from uh, Savage Planet. We got them in black. And then the joints I forgot to mention. These are now in dark red. Kind of Mata red, if you will. I think there's more up here. Is there another one? Yep. Nope. Oh, yeah, right here. But only for elbow joints. I'd rather get them in both. Then his feet, same as Fire Lords. And then, of course, we cannot forget the new face, I guess. The new head piece. Which is pretty sweet. The trans green and the cover-up for it. But the cover-up needs a pin or an axle, per se, to keep the helmet on rather than just putting one in there. I don't know why they did that. It's kind of derpy sticking out there, but... Eh, can't win them all. Then we got the red and black Quasa Spikes. Actually, Corrupted Quasa Spikes. And his articulation is pretty good too. He's got ball jointed neck, ball jointed head. These things have three ball joints on them. One is a hinge. He's got a ball joint in the shoulder, but like I said, it's pretty tight. Ball jointed elbows, a hinge ball jointed, then ball jointed hands, he's got the fire lord legs, which I can't wait till they figure out something to do with that, <laughs> and then he's got hinge in the knee and hinge in the foot, and you could still get a couple pivots in there, I kind of like what they did with him, they did a lot better with this one than fire lord, I really, this is my favorite set so far from 2012, because he's just awesome. Originally it was not him, it was Toxic Reaper and Split Vase, but this guy is pretty sweet. And his Arachnix drone, I forgot to put that on, can peg right onto his arm. And it has, um, it has two green Baraki eyes. Now, piece ratio is around, uh, let me see, it's around, it's a 125 maybe, something like that, I cannot remember exactly what it is, because I threw the box out, and I'm not looking through the manual, and the manual was about, pretty long, the standard Titan amount of pages, the standard Titan Hero Factory build, pretty much, and the number of pages slips my mind, I do not remember, um, 30, maybe 40 something, 45 maybe, 43, I don't, I don't remember, but, um, height wise he's pretty tall, he's around a foot, he's around a foot, maybe a little bit taller, but, <clears throat> and price point, I paid five sixty-five for mine <laughs> because I am a rewards member and I got some five dollars off coupons and I just bombed this thing with them because I had what uh, twenty bucks maybe? I had twenty bucks. It was twenty-five true Toys R Us, and um, I did not have that money, so I just bombed him with. Uh, five dollars off coupons <laughs> and I paid five bucks for him so I'm happy with that but he's originally 25 20 around that and um, playability he's pretty good I mean you can do a lot with him I mean he comes with a little excess character here a little small hopefully a poly bag set in the future but um yeah, this has been a review for Black Phantom. I'm going to give him a 10 out of 10 because he's...
pretty cool. And he is going to be the first toy nominated into the Overlord Toy Hall of Fame. And um, he is going to be the first one nominated. Other things might be Transformers, Lego sets, what have you. But um, this is a pretty good set. I would highly recommend this to a casual Lego collector and a Hero Factory collector especially. And um, he is very good. He is awesome. So I highly recommend him. And um, hope you guys enjoyed the review. And I will see you all with a review of Raka. And don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. And I'll subscribe back and I'll get back to you on a comment as soon as I can. See you later, guys.